Alright, hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be making a tutorial on how you can use Canva to go make yourself a free chat box. Just like this one. Alright, so first things first, guys, we're gonna get back into one of my favorite sites, which is Canva. Canva better sponsor me, I swear to God. I talk about them so much, but they're such a good website. Alright, so here we are in Canva. So we're gonna go and click that purple create a design button and we're gonna make it um, a custom size and we're gonna make it 1920 by 1080, which is the standard dex desktop resolution for a 16 by nine desktop. And we're gonna hit create new design. And so basically kind of use this as a rough um, launch point. This is basically your rough desktop. So if you're screen sharing your video game, whatever, this is basically the size of your stream. So we're gonna go to elements and we're gonna go under shapes, hit see all. And there are a ton of different shapes you can use for your chat box. I don't recommend using a triangle. Um, if you want to, if you want to help visualizing um, like how you should go and size your chat box, I recommend just select a rectangle and we're gonna go and click and drag. Now, when you click and drag, you see that black box appear and it will tell you the dimensions of your chat box. So we can just go to OBS and check your chat box dimensions. Um, mine are roughly 600 by 800 tall. So I'm just gonna drag it to about there. And then we can just click and scale it. So that is the rough size, but I did downscale my chat box. So we can go make our temporary rectangle and this rectangle will serve as a guide for how big we should actually make our chat box. So let's pretend that this is our chat box. So whatever we actually make for our chat box, um, we have to take that into account. So for instance, um, let's say we want to use this hexagon shape. Um, let me change the color so it's more visible. I'll make this pink or whatever. Also, if you go under position, we can move it um, backwards so the chat box our hypothetical chat box would appear. So if let's say that we use this little hexagon as our chat box, and if we put it like this, you can already see that the um, the chat itself will actually um, go outside the bounds of the chat box itself. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that no matter what, it will stay within the bounds. So we just want to go and make it a little bit bigger to make sure that we have this entire gray rectangle within bounds um, so again, I don't recommend using shapes like um, hexagons, triangles, hearts, for instance, because it's very hard to go and keep that rectangular chat box within the heart or the other shape that you're using without it like going outside of the bounds. Otherwise, you're going to have to make the chat box really big and it's going to end up taking away from your gameplay. So looking through all these shapes, I'm going to select this one. This one's very cute. I like the rounded rectangle um, edges. So I'm just going to go under position and I'm going to move it backwards and let me see, I'm going to put it around here and right off the bat, we already have it very nicely centered and also notes that our chat box is not taking up too much space on our screen. Now we can just get rid of this little rectangle because that was just to kind of gauge our bounds. And then if we click this up here in the top left corner, um, there is these different colors you can go change the lightest color being the primary color So you can go select that and now under document colors. We can change the color I recommend selecting a color that is in the middle of the color wheel I don't recommend selecting all the way to the right. It is very very saturated It's an eyesore But I also don't recommend selecting all the way over to the left because it's very desaturated So something in the middle would work very nicely. I'm just gonna select uh, I'm gonna select maybe like a purple. We're gonna make it like kind of like a Maybe like this shade of purple, I think it's a pretty good color. Also, if you want to go check to make sure your text box, your chat will look nicely. Um, here, let me go get rid of this real quick. I don't want this. Add a little bit of body text. You're just gonna click that. We're gonna drag it up here. And in whatever color your chat is, um, my chat is white. You're just gonna make the text the exact same color. Let's make it a little bit smaller to mimic um, if it was actually somebody sending a message in chat. Now look, okay, now looking at this, we can see um, using this this Texas temporary uh, placeholder, we can see that it stands out pretty nicely against this purple. But if I were to select maybe a very, very light color, we can see that that white text is now invisible. So you just wanna do this to make sure that whatever color you select, you can easily read the white um, text that will be the chat. 
So we're gonna go change the color of the backgrounds or like the shadow. I'm gonna make it a little bit more blue and we're gonna make it a little bit darker. And the outline, I'm gonna pick um, just a dark purple color. Something like this. And now we have a really cute looking chat box. But we definitely can make this better. So if you look under here, there's already a whole bunch of pre um, design little uh, text formats. So we can just kind of uh, yoink one of these. Ooh, okay, so uh, I'm taking a look at the uh, pre-formatted text headers here. And I really like the font of this one, so I'm just going to select it. Uh, we just want to get rid of the little text at the bottom. We don't need that. That doesn't do anything for us. If I can actually get rid of it. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. And I'm just gonna go click the welcome little one and I'm gonna change it to say chat. Now, this is totally optional. You can go do this if you would like and if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I'm gonna click and drag it over here. Let me go and center it. All right, and this looks cute and all, but it's a little bit hard to see so we can go make this better. Let me go double click this and we're gonna change the color to a color that will match our chat box. So I'm gonna pick a light purple, something like this. And now we're gonna double click this and then under effects, we're gonna go and see effects that we like. Okay, so we have the splice effect here. Um, I can go change the color of this. Like that. I can add a shadow. We can make the chat neon. We can make it have the glitch format. All right, so we're gonna go and make the the little like outline color, the same color as the color we outlined the chat box with. And now look, it's so much cuter. It's got a little bit of personality, a little bit of flair. And if you still want to add a little bit more, we can go back under elements. Let's exit out of the shape. And there's a ton of little um, animated stickers you can go add, or you can go and add some gradients or any other little uh, assets that you would like. So let me go see, let me go and try to find like, um, a heart maybe, chat box, email, Okay, so I'm gonna look up talking and I really like this little speech bubble. So I'm just gonna click it and drag it in here. And then I'm just gonna put this little speech bubble at the little bottom corner and click this color. And then I'm gonna make it another light purple. All right, so here we go. We have our final little chat box. Make sure you got rid of the little text that was there. Um, and then don't forget to hit download. And we're gonna want to download it as a PNG. Make sure it defaults to that, hit download. And now we wanna go look up background remover. It'll be um, the first link, the one that says remove.bg. All right, and we wanna go hit upload image and you wanna go upload that PNG we just downloaded. And it will automatically remove the background for you and make sure we hit download. You can try to download it in HD. It does make you sign up for an account, but it is free. It's up to you. We're just gonna go download the preview image. All right, this is like, I'm trying to figure out the best way I can go screen share you my OBS, but we're gonna go over here to the plus under the sources. And then we want to go and add an image source and we're gonna go add that PNG we just downloaded. So add it, title, whatever you want, chat box, lols. I've made so many chat box tutorials. So there's like so many different chat boxes here. Um, we're just gonna go browse and then let me go right there we're gonna hit okay and we just want to go and drag it to make sure that it fits the full size we want again it would look better if we download it as the full resolution image but i just don't want to make an account 
Um, and here we go, we have a chat box for a stream now. All right, this is just me and editing coming back. Um, sorry, it's like seven hours later after I filmed it. I haven't slept yet. It's like 9 a.m. now, and I filmed the, the video at like 3 a.m. in the morning. But I realized that when I was filming it, um, the text got a little bit messed up. So if that ever is the case when you upload the background, I didn't realize it initially because the color was kind of light. You can go hit this edit button right here and you can go and select the value of the blur that you want. This was the one that I originally had. Um, and then you can click the erase and restore. And if we just zoom in here, and this generally happens when the, if you use colors very similar to white or your background color, we can make the brush a little bit smaller and just paint over all the areas that we don't want the color um, to get erased and it will like bring it back. So this is one way you can kind of like correct for um, any issues that you might have with uh, it's not completely removing the background or removing too much of your backgrounds. But yeah, that's how you can get a chat box like this one or like this one, which is another one that I made in Canva. Feel free to go yoink these chat box ideas, totally up to you. Um, but hopefully this tutorial was very helpful and hopefully it helped you come up with um, how to go and make your chat box. If you like this video, definitely go sh check out my other YouTube videos because I do a lot of tutorials. And if you would like, I would appreciate it so much if you wanted to go check out my stream. I do stream four days a week, although I'm about to graduate from college, so that might change. It might change my stream schedule a little bit. And I roast people's streams on my stream every single Saturday at 9 p.m. PST. Um, that might change as well, depending on my stream schedule. But I appreciate all you guys for being here. And thank you so much for checking out my video. Hope to go see you in the next one. Dab!